Hey guys, welcome back, I'm Jay. In this episode, we're gonna look at the AWS in memory data store, Amazon Elastic Cache. Amazon Elastic Cache is a fully managed in memory data store and cache service for Redis and Memcached. It's designed to power real time applications with sub millisecond latency. In memory databases give you higher throughput and lower latency than disk based databases. Applications that implement in memory databases significantly reduce disk operations and improve overall performance. Elastic Cache offers two data store options. Redis is the in memory data store for complex structured data, web caching, and message broking. Memcached is the simple in memory key value store for simple caching. Elastic Cache is suited for many use cases for real time applications, including web caching, session stores, real time analytics, and queuing services. Data reading from disk is much slower than reading from memory. Complex database queries introduce extra latencies. Elastic Cache offloads heavy reads from disk based databases by providing in memory cache with sub millisecond latency. Here is how Elastic Cache works. Suppose you have an e commerce website running on EC2 instances that connect to the database and serve web traffic. Every time users request products information, your application on EC2 queries data from the database directly and sends results back to your users. Elastic Cache is the in memory data store that sits between your application and the database. Elastic Cache can be used with AWS data stores and services, such as Amazon S3, RDS, EMR, SageMaker, and databases running on EC2 and on premises servers. You can use Elastic Cache to store popular queries in memory, such as your top selling products. When users request information of top selling products, the application servers read data from Elastic Cache instead of the database. Elastic Cache supports two caching strategies their lazy loading and write through strategies. Lazy loading is a caching strategy that loads data into the cache only when necessary. When you enable lazy loading, your application always requests data from the cache first. If the data is found in the cache which results in a cache hit, Elastic Cache returns the data to the application. If the data isn't in the cache or is expired, which results in a cache miss, your application reads data from the database and then updates the cache with the new data. Lazy loading avoids filling up the cache with data that isn't requested. However, it may result in cache miss penalties and causing delays. Because data is written to the cache, only when there is a cache miss, data in the cache can become stale. The write-through strategy updates data in the cache whenever data is written to the database. Data in the cache is always up to date. In most cases, requests made to the cache always get a cache hit. However, node failures can be fatal for the write-through strategy. When you recover the node failure with an empty node, data is missing until new data is written to the database. In addition, because most data in the cache is never read, this may result in a waste of resources. You can minimize the waste of resources by adding a time to live or TTL to the cache. TTL is an integer value that specifies the number of seconds that the cache is valid until the key is expired. When the application tries to read an expired key, it is treated as the key doesn't exist, the application queries the database and updates the cache. Using TTL can reduce the cache space and keep data in the cache up to date. Elastic Cache for Redis is the in-memory cache that is designed to store complex structured data. Elastic Cache for Memcached is designed for simple key value store. You should choose Redis if you need to store complex data type in memory. If you only need store simple data type, you can consider Memcached. Both Redis and Memcached are highly scalable. Elastic Cache for Redis can scale up to 500 nodes and 500 shards. Elastic Cache for Memcached can scale up to 20 nodes. Both Redis and Memcached can automatically detect and recover from node failures. Memcached can run large nodes with multiple threads. Whereas Redis only supports single threaded processes. Elastic Cache for Redis supports encryption in transit and encryption at rest using AWS KMS. Elastic Cache for Redis is highly available. You can minimize downtime in Redis by enabling multi AZ replication and automatic failover. Global Data Store and Elastic Cache for Redis provides fully managed cross region replication. You can write data to your cluster in one region and make it available in two cross region replica clusters. Redis supports sorting or ranking of the data. With Redis, you can read in memory datasets in a sorted order. Redis offers pub sub capabilities, which allow you to configure Redis to inform clients about events on the server. 
Redis supports transactions, which let you execute a group of commands as an isolated and atomic operation. Redis lets you create point-in-time snapshots and persist in memory data to disks. You can also configure Redis to log write requests received by the server. You can enable automatic backups to back up the cluster on daily basis or create manual backups at any time. In the event of a failure, you can create a new cluster and restore data from the backup. Elasticache for Redis provides secure and memory data store that is compliant with HIPAA, RedRamp, and PCI DSS. Redis is suited as a session store for web applications, e-commerce websites, and social media platforms. You can use Redis as a key value store to manage session data such as auth tokens and session state. Redis is suited for fast in-memory store for complex data. Elasticache for Redis can serve frequently requested data at sub-millisecond. You can use Redis to store results of complex queries and offload heavy reads from the database. Redis has built-in support for real-time geospatial data at scale. You can add location features to your applications using Redis. For instance, you can perform operations like finding the distance between two elements and finding all elements within a given distance. Redis supports PubSub capabilities. You can use Redis to build high-performance chatbots with real-time messaging and events notification features. Redis supports data sorting and ranking on structured datasets. With Redis, you can create real-time gaming leaderboards using the sorted sets and maintain a list of elements sorted by their scores. You can also use sorted sets to handle time series data using timestamps. You can use Redis for machine learning and real-time data analytics. In-memory data helps speed up the machine learning applications, such as fraud detection, anomaly analysis, and recommendation engines. You can also use Redis with data streaming and transformation to build real-time data analytics. Memcached enables you to build simple and fast caching solutions. You can easily use the Memcached hash table to distribute session data, such as auth tokens and session state across multiple nodes. Memcached is highly suited for web applications, e-commerce websites, and social media platforms. Memcached is suited for fast in-memory store for simple data. Elasticache for Memcached can serve frequently requested data at sub-millisecond. You can use Memcached to store results of simple queries and offload heavy reads from the database. In this episode, we've learned Amazon Elasticache for Redis and Memcached. Elasticache is a fully managed in-memory data store. It's designed to power real-time applications with sub-millisecond latency. Elasticache supports two caching strategies: their lazy loading and write-through. Lazy loading is loads data into the cache only when necessary. Write through strategy updates data in the cache whenever data is written to the database. TTL specifies the number of seconds that the cache is valid until the key is expired. TTL helps reduce the cache space and keep the data up to date. Elasticache offers two in-memory data stores, Redis and Memcached. Redis is the in-memory cache designed to store complex structured data. You can use Redis as simple caching for session data, as well as complex data for data analytics, machine learning, and real-time messaging applications. Redis can automatically detect and recover from failures. Data in Redis is highly secure, as it supports encryption in transit and encryption at rest. Redis supports multi-AZ, multi-region replications, and automatic failover. You can read in-memory datasets from Redis in sorted order. Redis offers PubSub capabilities, which allow you to configure Redis to inform clients about events on the server. Redis supports transactions, which lets you execute a group of commands as an isolated and atomic operation. Redis lets you persist in-memory data to disks, enable automatic backups, and create manual snapshots. In the event of a failure, you can create a new cluster and restore it from the backup. Elasticache for Redis is compliant with HIPAA, RedRamp, and PCI DSS. Memcached is designed for simple key value store. You can use it as a simple solution to store session data and cache objects. Memcached can automatically detect and recover from failures. It supports multi-threaded processes on large nodes. Okay, that's all for Elasticache. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode. Hope you've enjoyed watching this episode. If you like the video, please help us and hit the like button. If you want to watch more tutorials, please subscribe to the Cloudemy TV channel. Make sure to turn on the notification and stay tuned. At Cloudemy, we're passionate about cloud and AI technology. Please share your feedback and thoughts in the comments below. Feel free to let us know what topics you'd like to watch. 
Happy watching and happy learning.